It is uh, our sad duty today to update our community and brief you on an incident that occurred uh, at approximately 8.13 p.m. last night in the community of Beulah uh, at the Quickfield gas station at 7144 Mobile Highway. Uh, it was an attempted armed robbery, which unfortunately led to the death of Mr. Gavordham Gotha, G-O-T-H-A, a 50-year-old male. We'll get more specific into the briefing this morning. Uh, we'll give the state attorney an opportunity to speak, as well as uh, Chief uh, Deputy Chief Sim uh, Chip Simmons, who heads uh, our operations division. Uh, and in doing the intro for these two gentlemen, I will tell you that we wanted to hold a press conference to close the loop on this, to assure our community that while unfortunately we cannot stop these random acts of violence, we most assuredly can respond in a prompt, uh, efficient, and professional manner to bring hopefully those to the bar of justice that have committed these crimes against the citizens of Escambia County. This particular episode strikes at the heart, I think, of everyone. I was briefed by my staff this morning. Uh, Mr. Gotha was scheduled tomorrow to leave Escambia County for his daughter's wedding. These are the things that go through our minds at the Escambia County Sheriff's Office, those of us involved in law enforcement because we know the toll that it takes on our community. So we want to convey that to all of our citizens that we too share with you and our heart aches for this family. There is nothing that is more precious than life. It is irreplaceable. And so while as we speak today at this press conference, someone's speeding, someone's a victim of domestic violence, someone is selling drugs or taking drugs, we cannot be everywhere all the time to protect our citizens, even though we wish that is what we could do. And so today as a community, we mourn the loss of one of our citizens, Mr. God, and we pray that his family finds some solace and peace. I read recently that in facing these things in life, you don't get over it, you get through it. And you learn to deal with the heartache. And so we ask that you reserve your prayers today for this family as they go through the grieving process. With that, I will introduce Chief Deputy Chip Simmons, who will give you specifics on the crime that occurred yesterday. Chief. Thank you, Sheriff. I'm going to fill you in on the three arrests that we made. Put this up so you can get a better idea. The three that we arrested, one of which we believe is the shooter, and two others are uh, accessories. Uh, the first one I want to announce to you uh, the arrest of Ephedarius Bryant. Ephedarius Bryant, 824 of 1989. Uh, he has been charged with felony murder and conspiracy to commit robbery. And we believe, again, that he is the shooter or the killer in this case. Uh, the second one is Keandra Martez Smith. He, too, is charged with felony murder and conspiracy to commit robbery. Uh, his date of birth is 1126 of 1995. He's the one that, if you've seen the, uh, the Facebook uh, post that we had, he's the one that went into the store first, we believe, to case the joint, and then he left at the same time that uh, F. Darius Bryant was coming in to commit the robbery. Thirdly, a uh, female on the, on the board there is Crystal Clausell. Crystal Clausell, C-L-A-U-S-E-L-L. -L. Uh, Crystal is a 115 of 85 date of birth and she has a conspiracy to commit robbery with a $100,000 bond. Both Mr. Bryant um, has no bond and Mr. Smith has, has no bond as well. So as you can imagine, when we first got the, the report, we activated every, every available resource that we can from the Sheriff's Office. That included our investigators, our narcotics unit, our warrant section, and obviously our social media because we felt like it was important to get that information out to the citizens. Uh, and that also sends a message that if you do these types of acts, there is no place to hide, no comfort, no safe harbor. We have quickly and with full force sought justice for the crimes that Sheriff Morgan had just mentioned. And through this rapid response and timely citizen involvement, we have arrested those responsible and their days of freedom in Escambia County are over. I would like to point out some of the investigators that have assisted in this case. Over on the wall over here, we have Sergeant Barnes. Uh, it, it helped out greatly over the night. They uh, haven't had any sleep in a while. 
Investigator Jimmy Tatum is the case officer in here. Um, we also have uh, Major Gilmore, um, and we have Colonel Kanata and Commander Tharp over there as well. So as you can see, um, as soon as something like this takes place, the full force of the Scambia County Sheriff's Office is called out uh, to include social media. And if it weren't for the quick, rapid response from uh, our social media, the citizens of Scambia County, uh, we wouldn't have been able to arrest these three, to identify these three and arrest them as quickly as we can. So we want to say thank you uh, to those who offered up the information because at least some of that information was stuff that we were able to go on and that's why we have made such a quick uh, quick arrest in this case. Again, these are the only three that we're looking for and, um, and they will have their day in court. And now I'll turn it over to uh, Assistant State Attorney John Mulchamp.